creating sweep features using path and guide rail curves. So here I have a guide curve and here I have a path and here I have a profile. So we're going to go up and use our sweep tool. In our sweep tool we'll pick the profile and I'll pick this closed profile. I'll pick the path and this will be my path and we're going to come over here to type and we're going to follow the path and the guide rail so now I have to come over and select the guide rail this is a guide rail so it's going to we pick on that and so it's going to sweep this profile along the path using the guide rail as its shape. Now how does it uh, scale the profile? Right now I have it in the X and Y. So it's equally scaling the X and Y shape along this guide rail. If I switch it to the X, it only pushes out the shape to match the guide rail, the guide curve, uh, in the X direction. When I say none, it's just basically a sweep, okay, with no scaling at all. So most of the time we're going to go with an X and Y. Uh, I would be uh, willing to guess that you would want that shape all over. So essentially you're using the path to sweep it along, but you're also using this guide rail or guide curve to sweep that thing along and follow that curve. So uh, in this case, we have to have, uh, and I'm going to cancel, you got to have your profile typically normal to your path. And then you need a guide curve in as well, typically on the same plane as your path is very handy. So over here, you can see I have named them profile, guide curve, and guide path. So this is creating a sweep feature using path and guide rail curves.